The journey of most young startup founders is not glamorous, and that's exactly what the Startup Kids shows. This documentary takes an inside look at the trials and tribulations of startups, their many sacrifices, and their rare successes. As the film reveals candid interviews with the founders of high-profile companies such as Vimeo, SoundCloud, and Dropbox, and top venture capitalist firms such as Excel Partners, it squashes the idea of overnight success in the startup world and injects a dose of reality for aspiring entrepreneurs as it shows that sacrifice and unflinching passion must go hand in hand. The other cool fact about the film is that the directors financed it entirely by using the crowdfunding platform Kickstarter. Indie Game takes us on an emotional journey with three different game developers as they struggle to finish their video games and get them to market. Just like any startup founder, developers need unwavering passion and the willingness to keep iterating a product or service. What makes this film a must-see is that it gives a great illustration of a very important startup lesson. Don't get hung up on perfectionism, just pick a launch date and stick to it. When Phil Fish, a game developer, received rave reviews after a sneak peek of his game Fez, he got so hung up on perfecting his game that the market lost interest. Similar to Startup Kids, Indie Game also used the crowdfunding platform Kickstarter to fund its film. When Napster first launched in 1999, it revolutionized the music industry by offering free peer-to-peer -peer downloads, the first well-known torrent stream. Developed by Sean Parker and Sean Fanning, who were 18 and 19 at the time, Napster quickly exploded across college campuses, blindsiding the goliaths of the music industry. The reason it's a must-see for entrepreneurs is that it offers a candid look at Parker's evolution as he moved from being a young founder to serving as president of Facebook, and after a few failed startups, came full circle as an investor in Spotify, a global and fully legal music streaming service. While nothing about Parker is typical, the documentary shows the struggles and pitfalls of being a game changer. In contrast to the first three films, Project Code Rush is somewhat of a vintage tech documentary that takes us back to the height of the dot-com era in 1998, when a group of Netscape programmers and engineers decided to release their Mozilla source code to get feedback from the community. In one case, one of the contributors was 16 years old at the time. What makes this film compelling is the story of its struggle against the odds. Although the ailing company was eventually bought by AOL in 1999, its decision to release its code to the external programmers and engineers was revolutionary at the time. Their Herculean work ethic is fascinating to watch, especially as it strains their personal lives and reveals how much they are willing to risk. 